In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the top games that are part of the hunt and the coolest and funnest badges to play. In this video, is going to be a list of my favorite, and I want to hear your guys' favorite, so comment it down below which games you enjoyed the best. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's hop straight into this. You guys have got to play every single game that I'm going to mention in this video and unlock the badge before it's too late. First up, I have the Roblox Doors. Now, this event was honestly really, really awesome. They did an amazing job. And and I will say it was terrifying as well. But I personally had a blast playing this considering that I really didn't play that much of Doors in the past. I played this for the first time and this is one of the funnest times I had playing Doors at 2 a.m. trying to get this badge. I did fail it many, many times, but it was super fun in the process. I'll rank this 9 out of 10 for the badges or out of the badge games that we have. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts on the Doors event because honestly, I thought it was really, really good. And next Next up, we have the RB Battles event, which this one was honestly really good. The animations, just the way it was all designed and put together with the RB Battles story itself. Everything just pieced together so nicely, and there was a lot of effort done in this event. I mean, you can just tell by the lighting, the scenery, the cinematic shots, uh, you know, shots like this of them talking, and of course, they actually implemented their very own like rhythm game into RB Battles, and on top of that, made a really really cool custom song which actually was very very catchy and actually there was I believe two things you could do you could either do the rhythm or you could have the rap battle or the rap battle and I chose the rap battle which brought me into a rhythm game so there's actually two choices you could do let me know how the rap battle was but the rap battle was really really awesome I mean this thing was super cool there was a baby mode and beast mode because I suck at rhythm games but it was still all around a very very cool and awesome experience and next Next up, we have the Arsenal event, which this event was really, really put together nicely. It felt like I was playing an actual, like, mission from a video game. It was put together so well, and it was quite challenging. There was a few times during this quest right here where I almost died, but I had to play it slow. It was kind of challenging the first time playing it. I really don't know how I went through this without dying a single time except for the very beginning because, as I mentioned, there was times where enemies would just spawn in out of nowhere, but all around... I mean, it felt like a very, very well put together badge to get in the hunt. Although it does take like 12 minutes to actually complete this. I will say this is definitely up there in one of the most high quality events or badges a part of the event. And next up, we have Please Donate, which actually this one I was surprised with. I was not expecting them to do this entire like cutscene animation for the hunt on Roblox. So when I actually first joined this game, I had no idea where the hunt was. I actually had to look up where to find this. But all I had to do was just talk to this person by the pier. But you had to go inside of this computer room and actually hack this computer right here and do this, like, puzzle. That was actually kind of challenging, and it did take me a few tries to actually do this. It was quite frustrating at first, but at the same time, it was kind of fun, and that's what made it challenging. Let me know down below if you guys liked the please donate one, or if you thought it was too hard. Let me know your thoughts down below. And next up, we have Bayside High School, which once again... They put together an amazing event, which I was not expecting from like a role play game like this. I was not expecting them to put together an entire like old school like event. Like, I mean, you can tell when there's a lot of effort put into these events for the badges. This one, they made an entire rhythm game. They had a full cutscene beforehand, a storyline even. And it also followed the theme with like going back in time or into the future. So you had to do this rhythm game, which by the way, I struggled with this so much. I cannot explain express how bad I am at rhythm games but even though I'm bad it was still a very fun event to play and I'm just watching this back and look at how bad I am at this oh my goodness and next up we have strongman simulator which this one was very unique for a simulator I thought we were just going to be clicking the whole time pretty much like all the other simulators on Roblox and a few a part of the event but this one they actually put together their own challenge that every player can participate with without having to level up or do anything crazy like that where especially if for players who played this game in the past, they didn't have an advantage. Everyone started off on the same scale and you had to bring this egg around. Like, I was literally not expecting this whatsoever for a simulator off of lifting weights and becoming strong. This was a strategic way to implement this secret, and I absolutely loved it. There was, like, four levels of this. This was the easy level, and then there was the harder level, I, I, I believe, and then there was the final level, which was pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie, because if you messed up at any point, you did have to start over from the last checkpoint that you had, but I thought this was pretty unique, and it was very fun and very different from the other games 
games that I have played. And next up, we have Death Ball, which this one, uh, they put together an amazing boss fight that I was not expecting an entire boss fight a part of this event. It was very, very fun to play. It was quite challenging to start out, but it was a very, very well-made boss. Whether you're good at Blade Ball or not, I'm actually terrible at Blade Ball, and I still thought that this boss fight right here was still pretty fun. It did take me two tries. I did die the first time doing this, but after that, I did complete it, and I thought this was actually a pretty cool hunt. And believe it or not, I'm actually gonna add Club Roblox to this list, just because I was not expecting this once again for another roleplay game. They actually implemented a pretty cool parkour, and also, like, they, it, like, integrated parkour mixed with, like, secret uh, decoding at the same time. There was areas in here we had to figure out secret codes, do parkour at certain areas, and honestly, for a role-playing game, I thought they did an amazing job in implementing this. And I'm also gonna throw in the Mimic just because they made a very own like bunny boss which was honestly pretty terrifying to play against this thing uh wandering around the woods collecting eggs was the most terrified i've ever been playing roblox in my entire life i didn't know that searching for eggs would be that scary but it was so basically inside of this one as i mentioned all you have to do is just walk around the woods and avoid this scary giant bunny that wandered around the woods and also if you do find the golden egg you can complete this pretty much instantly so if you guys do ha have the golden egg or you do find it during this, you can complete this in literally like 30 seconds. But that's if you get extremely lucky. But if I had to pick my absolute top three, that's going to make it on my top three list in the event. Now, I just want to say, don't get me wrong, guys. There's still a ton of games that I haven't played yet that have some really, really awesome ones. But based off of the ones I've played so far, I'm going to have to rank at number one. I'm going to have to say Doors. I think hands down, so far what I've seen has the best best badge event in the actual game. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts on that. Now, number two, I would have to say is Arsenal. Arsenal put together a very, very awesome hunt quest. It was like, it was like an actual, like, mission from, like, a video game. Like, I mean, we are playing a video game, but you guys get the idea. It was very, very fun, interactive, and it was challenging at times, which, honestly, I thought made it pretty fun. And I think for my final one that I would have to say that makes it definitely inside of the top three is going to be RB Battles. I feel like they did an amazing job with all the animals animating the cutscenes, the two modes that you get to play both of the modes i heard were really really good and the rhythm one that i played was amazing with an awesome song so that is my top three it's going to be doors rb battles and arsenal let me know down below inside of the comment section what your top three most favorite games were during this event now obviously those aren't the shortest games that you can unlock but i think they were like the most well made i feel like now by the way guys i still haven't played like all of them yet there's still many games i haven't got i only have 62 badges there's still some i have to experience yet like i heard piggy is pretty good i haven't done that yet but comment down below what your favorites are so that way i can go ahead and check them out be sure to drop a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with that notification bell turned on and i'll see you guys all inside of the next one peace out and goodbye